What's going on? So, lately I've been trying to train my Pyara to eat dead foods. Not just anchovies that it's been accepting, but dead foods in regards to cut up tilapia, cut up shrimp, and those silver fish that I bought at the grocery store. While doing this, I also did the garlic dip. And this type of training actually reduces your water quality in the process. Um, you're dipping your bait into garlic dip and you're actually putting it into your water column. During this time, I did notice that the water column did get a little cloudy. Um, and this is actually the first time I've ever seen this. Usually whenever I feed high protein foods like cut up tilapia, cut up shrimp to my predators, my water never gets cloudy. But I did realize that when I was doing this in my 55, my sump actually had ceramic rings inside with K1 with the trickle tower. Um, as of right now, it only has K1 in it and maybe a little bit of filter floss, but that's it. Uh, in regards to biological media, I'm only using one type compared to when I was using three types in the old trash can sump filter. Knowing this, um, I kind of wanted to get back into using ceramic rings. So before this tank, when I had the trash can sump filter, um, the flow actually started off going through a trickle tower and then draining into a K1 chamber in turn flowing into the main body of the sump which housed uh, ceramic media. The ceramic media was actually this. This is what I used in the bottom of the sump. I'm thinking with the lack of ceramic media, um, feeding high protein foods is making my water column kind of dirty. Uh, all I have is K1 so I kind of want to change that up. Being that the sand in my tank is very um, little, there shouldn't be too much biological bacteria on there. I need to utilize more space for the biological bacteria to grow, which is what grew on these rings. So I went to the fish store and I actually picked this up. This is basically a ceramic media plate, a ceramic media block. You've probably seen this uh, at your LFS, but you've probably seen the big white brick looking one. That one was $60. I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm just gonna stick with this. Picked this up for $14.99. This is made by YCA. It's a ceramic bioplate media and it is said to be pH neutral, uh, reduce ammonia, reduce nitrites, uh, reduce nitrates, which is a good one. Uh, improves water quality, improves water clarity, and promotes beneficial bacteria. Reduce nitrates here is a uh, very appealing. It's very fragile and it's flaky, like shit is falling off of it and flaking all over my desk. I've always wanted to use the ceramic blocks that you see uh, at your LFS. If you haven't seen it, it looks like a big brick and people just stack them in their sump. Uh, this is something that I've always wanted to do just because um, I like the idea behind it. If if you were to have a sump and you have a whole stack of ceramic rings, like these stacked up on the bottom, uh, I feel like they, they build up a lot of debris. Uh, a lot of stuff gets caught up in it and it's kind of hard to clean up, you know. But with the bricks, it's more or less of just taking the whole brick out and vacuuming and putting it back in. So this is the re this is one of the main reasons why I went with this form of uh, ceramic media. As you can see, they are very very porous. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's focusing, but it's very very porous. So the idea is to uh, have this stand up either in the sump or in the tank in a high flow area. The water flows across it and it eventually goes through the media which therefore gets um, cleaned by the beneficial bacteria, which colonizes in these blocks. Uh, they're highly porous, and I actually tested it out with water by dipping it, and I picked it up instantly, and it actually sucks up water pretty well. Um, very similar to uh, the Fluvo Biomax, but this is in a brick form, which is nice. Uh, it keeps things very organized. My only issue is my sump is filled with all K1. I just don't know where to put this. It's Like I said, it's very brittle and you can't really see, but my table is filled with little white specks 
from the brick. I'm thinking that the K1 would end up disintegrating this because it's constantly grinding on it, and I'll eventually just have a sump full of ceramic shit on the bottom of my sump. <clears throat> Alright, so I have an idea. So the idea is to put the ceramic blocks inside this jar, line them up by having them stand like this, close it off, and drop this into the sump. But before we do that, I'm not too sure if you remember, but we did make a DIY water polisher not that long ago, where we used a soldering iron and soldered a whole bunch of holes all around the the bottle or whatever but in this case I'm gonna be soldering literally every centimeter of this box making it flow water extremely well this way the K1 doesn't interrupt and destroy the blocks and all the extra shavings and whatever get left inside here so that's currently the plan um, and the, kind of, the thing is I kinda of don't want the, the pieces of ceramic flowing around in my sump as well just because my pump's in there and I'm afraid that the little pieces of ceramic will destroy my pump and hopefully this works stay tuned so we got the holes drilled the whole side is filled with holes and also drilled the top I left the bottom as is every side of this jar is drilled like this looks kind of ugly but this is kind of what i need to do so i'll go ahead and put the blocks in yep it's a very tight fit but it does fit and it fits perfectly perfectly fits four and um yeah hopefully this works i'm gonna go ahead and put this here like this blocks are in and yeah hopefully this works tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and put this into the tank and we'll see how it goes from there so yeah last night I, I ended up putting the contraption into the sump uh, I wanted to see how it would work and I also wanted to see if there was any dead spots in the tank um, the only issue I ran into was the K1 was actually getting stuck on the bottom of the container so I had to reposition it a handful of times until eventually there was no K1 underneath it. This turned out really good. Um, the contraption sunk to the bottom. The only way I will tell if this is actually working or not is after um, maybe a week or two when I do my water change, I'll also test my water as well. Today I did do a water change, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Water parameters should be fairly good. I will continue to feed the Pyara Hopefully this contraption will improve my water quality over time. And um, yeah, only time will tell. Maybe in the future we might get some marine pure uh, ceramic blocks. Uh, that might look pretty nice. I might need to modify my sump a little bit to make it work. But until then, peace guys.